Hello everyone. Today is June the 15th. I'm Dr. Adam London, Director of the Kent County Health Department, here for today's COVID-19 update. Across the state of Michigan, it's reported there are 59,990 diagnosed cases of COVID-19. That's an increase of 189 over the previous day's number, and 5,771 deaths in total statewide, an increase of three over the previous day. Here in Kent County, we're up to 4,087 diagnosed cases of COVID-19. That was an increase of 33 over Saturday's number and 113 deaths. We had an increase of two yesterday. So hearing lots of questions and discussion about masks and mask use. In fact, I had a friend over the weekend say that uh, viruses are very small and trying to stop a virus with a cloth mask is a little bit like trying to stop mosquitoes with a chain link fence. You just you can't do it. It doesn't make sense. Well, there is some truth to that, and we know that cloth masks are not going to stop every virus particle from getting through. However, it's also very important to know that the virus particles that we're most concerned about and the highest concentration of them are contained in the aerosolized moisture coming from a person's breath coming from a person's speech and their coughing. And those droplets of moisture, to use my friend's analogy, run between the size of a golf ball to a beach ball. So while you can't stop a mosquito with a chain link fence, you can stop a lot of golf balls and you can stop all beach balls and most of everything in between. In between. So a mask is useful at stopping and arresting those larger particles of moisture. Again, not perfect, but can be very effective in reducing the amount of moisture and the amount of virus that's going out into the atmosphere. And so before coming down here for, uh, uh, for this update, I actually spent a few moments printing off some research that is on the internet right now uh, supporting mask use. And there's quite a bit out there, and I just grabbed a sample of it. Uh, but to go through a few of these, uh, there's an article from the journal Infectious Disease Modeling. And the authors conclude that notably masks are found to be useful with respect to both preventing illness in healthy persons and preventing asymptomatic transmission. Hypothetical mask adoption scenarios for Washington and New York State suggest that immediate near universal adoption of moderately effective masks could prevent on the order of 17 to 45 percent of projected deaths over two months in New York while decreasing the peak rate, the peak death rate by 34 to 58%. Absent other changes in epide epidemic dynamics, even very weak masks can still be useful if the underlying transmission rate is relatively low or decreasing. In Washington, where baseline transmission is much less intense, 80% adoption of such masks could reduce mortality by 24 to 65%. Our results suggest use of face masks by the general public is potentially of high value in curtailing community transmission and the burden of the pandemic. The community-wide benefits are likely to be greatest when face masks are used in conjunction with other non-pharmaceutical practices such as social distancing and when adoption is nearly universal nationwide and compliance is high. Another article from the Proceedings of the Royal Society conclude that when face masks are used by the public all the time, uh, the effective reproductive number can be decreased below one. And we've talked about that before, how getting that number below one is very important in seeing the numbers of overall cases continue to decline, leading to the mitigation of epidemic spread. Face mask adoption provides population level benefits even in circumstances where wearers are placed at increased risk. Countries where adoption of face mask use by the public is around 100% have experienced significantly lower rates of COVID-19 spread and associated deaths. Here's one from the journal Risk Analysis. We conclude that population-wide use of face masks could make an important contribution in delaying an influenza pandemic. This was modeled after influenza dynamics, which are very similar in transmission to COVID-19 uh, transmission dynamics. Mask use also reduces the reproduction number, possibly even to levels sufficient for containing an outbreak. And there are others. The British Medical Journal 
the uh, Journal of International Epidemiology, the Journal of Infectious, Emerging Infectious Diseases, uh, and others, which all support this idea that mask use can be and is an effective tool in reducing the overall risk of transmission in the community. And again, I know it's not perfect. Uh, I know that masks are not a, a, a fail safe. I know that they're not perfect. However, they are, and it's been demonstrated over and over again, one effective tool that can be used to reduce transmission. And if we want to avoid a secondary wave of cases, if we want to see things continue to open and to see our numbers of cases and deaths decline, we have to do the easy things, at the very least, the easy things that are out there for us to protect ourselves, our loved ones, and our neighbors. Now, why do I care? Um, you know, I'm, I'm the health officer for Kent County. I care about this community uh, intensely. And I also wear a mask myself, my family does. I think it's very important that we do the things that we can to protect ourselves. I don't make a profit off of people wearing masks. Uh, some people have, have said that I'm somehow making a profit off of pushing mask use, and I assure you that's not the case. Uh, I am merely trying to communicate messages that are useful in protecting this community so that we all get through this together in as, uh, in as least painful of a way as possible. Uh, so that's, that's my update for today. I hope you wear a mask. I'm going to put my mask on here as soon as I leave the studio here in a moment. And I'm uh, going to continue on with my day. And I hope that you all do with a positive attitude. And you're staying positive, staying heroic, and staying healthy. I'm Dr. Adam London for the Kent County Health Department. I'll talk to you again tomorrow.